Welcome back to Bannerlord. So, I've made some money. And I know I said at the I said that the plan was gonna be gonna be going on and coming a mercenary. So I kind of wanted to get some kids first. So that's what I've been doing, traveling around. Making sure our brother and I and our wives have <laughs> had a good time and made some serious amount of trading. So I figure I'm kind of done since I got one, two. Two kids and a third on the way. So... Anyway... I kinda want to... Show you what I've done to make this... Amount of money, and that's convenient. Well, I'm gonna put something like that. And if these guys join each other, that would be perfect. Mess with us, and we'll say. And since there no, there's no big risk, wow, there's actually good stuff here. I'll check it in the town later. More looters. So this is one of the things you can do to get money. Hunt looters. Mess with us, I will. And since there's no no risk, we're just gonna go on and. Oh, I thought it was starting with trading, but... I am starting with... Bowman. I think I can fire it well. Yeah, there we go. Really be using the shield. But I do want to get better at the other stuff. Come 
Well, I can actually do it like this. Oh, changed my mind. It's better to be safe than getting your skills up, I guess. While mounted, I really like Is that tent. Okay. That whole tent is whatever it is it is. On horseback, I really do like the both the lance and the two-handed axe. So that uh, was not perfect. And there's lots lots of stuff there too. Anyway, so back to the trading. So one thing that I have is basically everyone except her is in in a, a caravan trading and then Basically this. And I also have the, the workshops, but they aren't making that much money. I haven't dabbled too much in it either, so I mean I guess it's paid itself off. No? I don't know how to read that, but anyway. So, basically, I have been doing some trading. I'll show you guys how that works. And just after I've sold all this crap, That might be worth keeping. That might also be worth keeping. After that.
rest is so six thousand. Okay. So I made my fortune basically doing this. Now I didn't have these numbers here, the, the colors on, on it earlier. So but basically if you hover over it, you can see it's 40% cheaper than average. If you buy stuff like that, and then when you get to a trader, you check that, for example, velvet near its average, and well, here, hundred percent more expensive than average. You sell it when it's red. And you buy it when it's green back there. And after after a little while, you actually get these two. No, these two. All profits are marked. And item prices are marked relative to the average price. That is the the green stuff. So when you actually get the green stuff here, it gets way easier. Now it's basically just buy when it's when it's light green here, like these, I'm gonna buy them, buy them. I already have a lot of tools, so I don't wanna keep buying those. And I go for the more expensive stuff just because, oh, well, I have enough carry capacity right now to have a lot of stuff. And I just sell it until it gets a little bit lighter green. Hold shift, you can sell five at five at a time. So I'll get more skill points in trade. Then I enter the smith and I check if there's a one that pays a lot. And I try to smith that. And these don't really help with the swing damage, so I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna get the one that helps me the most. I think that's actually that one. So I missed by that quite a lot, but yeah, that's basically what I do. There are some better tutorials how to do these things, but That one's gonna be too hard for me to do anyway. So. But that's the basics of what I've been doing. Now, I am getting, getting gold each and every day from my caravans basically but my my
my way of trading is netting me quite a lot of a lot of money too. That leather. All right. Some fur and some pottery. We also have trade rumors, like you saw there. It says that you can buy them at Ernovapol and you can sell them here at near its average so that's gonna be what 40% cheaper or something so I can go there buy a bunch come back here and sell them but yeah that's basically what I've been doing And it seems to be working pretty well. And different cultures need different things. Can I even reach that? Don't think so. That's well. I liked it anyway. So sometimes you actually get paid even though you might not be doing it to the perfect extent that they want. It's always worth it anyway. And we see you are caravans going on and about but basically I just want to do one more trading run just to show you guys I have a lot of tools And always gonna buy all the hardwood. Nothing worth picking up that's expensive. No. Okay. So I wanna actually empty my inventory basically. Can I get not much? There we go. Guess I'll do that. Displeased. Why? Oh, the worth. Alright, fair enough. Should probably change that to something that is a nicer quality, I guess. But, yeah. Some quests actually pay quite, quite all right. 
in and out. Oh, don't, don't want to do that. Next one. There is... Can't see... What they want. What kind of reward they want to give, but... Same here. But they pay well for wealth velvet. Or I can make a I can make money from selling velvet at least. Which is what I'm gonna do. So this is basically Nine thousand. That's also an easy money. I'm gonna refine a bit. Hunt them down. My bands. Good for true plus, twenty four percent risk of failure. Anyway, oh, more bandits. That's gonna be more loot.
I got one, three, four, four archers. Taking more damage than I want. There's a lot of arrows in my shield. One more over there. One more? Alright, so time for the leader. And we're gonna kill them all. Did we lose three? I remember this. All right. Um, all right. So I think I can. Anything here that's worth anything? Well, we are going to sell everything, I guess. And I'm just going to do the same thing again. Seventeen, seven, nineteen, nine, twenty-five, eight. 19, 9, 25, 8. Anyone who has worse stuff than that? Not. The only one we don't have with us right now is... What's her name?
Field Maiden. So, alright. Jewelry, good price. Much. Picked up a lot of cheap tools. Twelve thousand. That's quite a good haul, but I have this one. If you want to do this, this one should be better. But I am planning on doing some mercenary work, so I think this one is going to be better for me in the long run. So that's why I, why I have that. And, well, carry capacity is also very nice. So basically, if you do... So that's basically the the easiest easy way of trading if if you you just carry your stuff around you don't need to worry about the um, the way the trade rumors, I mean, it's always good to do, because you can always make a better, better sale with following the trade rumors, but I might be a little bit too lazy to do that. But, yeah. but it requires a big investment in pack animals and also enough people so you don't get a herding herding penalty. So there's that to keep in mind before you attempt to do it the same way as I am. But 11,000 11, for that. And we have some... Plotting guard, Gerani as well. We have Pelum and a sword. These ones have shields, though. And we'll use two horses for upgrades. I guess that's fine. So the most important things to keep in mind is you need you still need to pay for food, you still need to keep some morale, and you still need men to actually 
ride the horses and keep track of the horses. Can I see what they are offering without joining it? No. Southern decorated chainmail. Alright, let's see what that is. Twenty seven thirteen? Yeah, okay. That's fine. This. Yes, I can. Need to hold up some speed. Ah, missed. While you have high enough speed, you'll couch your lance, and it's hard to steer, but you will deliver a lot more damage if you actually hit. Speed is important to even initiate it. And you basically lock yourself to to uh, a line of travel. with a bow. The closer I am, the harder it is to miss though. Hiding somewhere in the office. <laughs> yeah, coaching your lands will deal immense damage. So we've got another good armor. I mean, our brother or sister is now 16 or 17, so might as well stock up on some decent stuff.
Did I actually train? Twenty seven, twenty five. So that one is better than this one. Yeah, all right. Anyway, is there anything they want? Sell off your leathers and the silver ore. Just need to find somewhere to sell all the tools. We have quite a lot of grain. This is cheap here. Butter is fairly cheap too. Need to sell some sheep. You want to maximize your, your profits. You should check this, even though I mean, if you hover over it, it says how how much cheaper it is than the average. So. It's worth checking that. We had no grapes. And jewelry. It's quite easy find good places to sell. But as soon as both the, vi the women in the family Birth, I guess we are heading up to, to heading up to get the get some mercenary work in. We can sell it here even. Satisfied. All right then. So, also, a good thing to know note is if you want to make sure that your wife or husband doing their duties, you basically need to be resting in a town. Not We're not lineage. For you want your lineage to, to grow. Should probably have Sold some prisoners, I guess. While I was in the city, 
So same thing again. Easy enough. Hardwood. Velvet is cheap. So Velvet is also one of those that if you find the right place, you can get a lot of a lot of profit per item. But wine is fine too, but that requires you to actually buy it when it's low. We even need any more food of some form or variety. Butter. Yeah, sure. Meat. Yeah, sure. Here is very expensive. Okay. Is there anything worth doing? Okay. And. Tavern, found some prisoners. Can I get it sorted by doing that? No. Tier is this even? Tier five. So all of those. This one is tier four. One's tier three then, yeah. Uh, all twos, twos, threes, threes. The rest we can use later. Four sword sisters. So did I actually trade here? Sell these things. I did try it here, didn't I? Well, I didn't do it properly, right? And yeah, I did that. So let's smelt down some stuff. Dusty Russian. That's a very good horse, isn't it? I think it's a very good horse. So that is my wife. That is my brother. So we're gonna actually. We're actually gonna join this. Let's see if we can. there but no so she's still there so it's 
free for all. Oh, she's still there. Sent the spare flying between them instead of. Uh, and we're meeting our wife here, so. If we can. Kill the other guy. Oh, okay. Sometimes, if your companions or your family actually win, still get the item. That's a good thing to keep in mind. And we got a good horse. Anyway. You know where to do this, right? And we check this to oh. All right. So we are gonna go to the next place. I guess we're gonna go there. Eighteen looters might have stuff. Those are too far away, but... Can I... Donation XP? Yeah, alright, so... Let's pick up the stuff that we can actually use, and then... Can do like that. Just Wild Goose Chase. Grapes, rests can go. I start speed. actually quite all right there's a lot of things that should do that shouldn't we Fine. Yep. 
probably actually get a bow since I am using the mace anyway all the time. Blunt weapon, but gives us prisoners, but we don't get the loot as I understand it. I think the loot is what gives most most money. So I guess I'll just Down again. Okay. All right. Could use this, but I still have the shield. Like full axe, like the axe and the spear one. Don't know if that's actually in the game. You, you. Pick up. One. Where did I take damage from? Victory is ours! Oh, we don't need any peasants, so you're free to go. I mean, I so we're gonna take that head armor ten arrows. Fair enough. Bows are right. that should be fine. They should have made the quest then. Yeah. And returned. Let's try again, and she should be back then. You could use them. worse than anything. Oh, 
likes fur caps. Okay, so which one is the worst? That one's the worst. Don't need that one then. Don't need these ones either. Right, anyway. Selling, 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 making more money. This is a good place. So that it was in the red on the side here. That made us a lot of money. Do I need butter? Yeah, sure. Do I need cheese? No. Do I need meat? Yeah, sure. Do I need olives? Yes. Do I need date fruit? Yes. And jewelry is fine to pick up here. All right then. And do we have anything that pays good? Maybe this one? Wow. Oh. Don't know how to. Gives. What makes it. Makes it. idea. Anyway. So, that's the basis for trading. And well, the only thing I haven't really done is buy stuff, but if you check this, for example, I go buy these and silver ore, yeah. And if it's still green in here, then I usually buy it. That's what I've been doing at least, and that's why, why I have the amount of money I have right now. It becomes boring after a while just clicking on the map and then just selling stuff. But yeah. If that's how you want to play it, that's one way you can play it. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys back when both the wives have given birth. And when we are on the way to becoming mercenaries. So I'll see you guys in the next one.